The name Jaya Surya is as synonymous with Sri Lankan cricket as Botham is to England and Warren to Australia. Four years after the retirement of the great Sanat, another Jaya Surya is attempting to follow in his illustrious footsteps. It's difficult to foresee 24-year-old Shehan Jaya Surya emulating his namesake's remarkable record at international level, one that saw him score more than 21,000 runs and take 440 wickets in 586 matches. But he certainly made a promising start. On his 2020 debut against Pakistan in August, Shehan bashed a 32-ball 40 to help Sri Lanka reach a respectable total of 172. And when he claimed the scalp of Shahid Afridi in Pakistan's reply, he looked on course for a victorious debut. However, Anwar Ali's rapid 46 allowed Pakistan to squeeze home with four balls to spare. Nevertheless, Shehan can look back on his debut with considerable pride. In the beginning, when we played a few practice matches, I usually batted at number three. Lasit Malinga used to give me the ball to bowl a few overs as well. So there was nothing surprising when it actually happened in an international game. I always had confidence that I will do well. Lasit Malinga told me to play my natural game and not to worry about anything else. That's all he said. And when the captain himself has so much faith in you, honestly, I didn't feel any pressure. I think I performed well because of that. The world of sport can often conjure up unusual stories. And that was very much the case regarding the circumstances in which Shehan discovered that he'd been selected by his country for the first time. I remember that day so clearly. In fact, it was my sister's wedding day. I was initially told about my selection by Dilruwan Pereira. He was present at the wedding along with Akila Dhananjaya. And after surfing the internet, they told me that I've been selected to the national squad. I was absolutely elated and everyone at the function hugged me and wished me on this wonderful achievement. And well they might. For Shehan's family and particularly his parents, Representing Sri Lanka was the result of a single-minded, unwavering vision to become a professional cricketer. I must say my parents weren't too strict because they knew that my passion all along was cricket and not studies. It was an added advantage that my parents were also huge cricket fans, so their dream was that one day I become a professional cricketer. After a stellar junior and youth career, Shehan shot to prominence on the professional stage with a match-winning 195 for Moors against Bloomfield in the Sri Lankan Premier League in March 2013. It was a bold, brisk innings that wouldn't have looked out of place on the highlights reel of the man who shares his surname, a man who he has always looked up to. Sanat Jayasurya is my hero from childhood and I love his batting style. A lot of people have told me that I play like him. I think they came to such a conclusion because my stroke play is generally quite aggressive. As theories go, it's not a bad one. Another theory not to be sniffed at is Shehan's assertion that Sri Lanka are more than capable of successfully defending the ICC World 2020 trophy they won in Bangladesh in 2014. Looking at the road ahead, I think we have a great chance to win the ICC World 2020 title and bring that trophy back home. The cricket administration tried a lot of new faces in the recent past and established players were rested, like Dinesh Chandimal and several others. I think this actually paid off and at the end of the day, the team did perform quite well. With a blend of youth and experience, I'm pretty sure that we can lift that 2020 title next year. It's a confident assessment. And if Shehan can claim a 2020 World Cup winner's medal, then he'll have achieved something that even the great Sanat failed to accomplish. <laughs>